goodness gracious, hello, good evening, YouTube. Welcome. I bet you didn't expect this. Welcome to Gran Turismo 2. Oh my goodness gracious. Hello? This is, I'm playing this on PS3. I don't know if this is, okay, hello, hello, okay, hello and good evening, YouTube. Welcome to Gran Turismo 2. It is day one, perfect. So this is a game with, um, this is, this is a game. So it's very slow. My copy of this game is ancient. It was probably like bought on the day it was released, but, um, Gran Turismo 2. So last time on Gran Turismo, we did the Gran Turismo 4 license challenges and that was 2017. I was going to follow it up immediately with Gran Turismo 2 license challenges, but as you can see, that did not come to pass. So, where is he going to do it now instead? I'm going to make sure that I have the space on the hard drive to be able to do this. I don't, I don't remember how you save the game. How do you save the game in this game? Most people go into their playthroughs and you know they they plan things out and they plot the entire thing and they you know y y y y and they and they have an idea of what they're going to do before they start but not me not me to, to that i say nay nay we shall not be going into this and putting in effort no we are going to okay save game jesus do i have the space not enough empty slots okay Okay. Well, actually, I think I think this game has a data manager, so we can actually um, no. That said, change slot, not data manager. All right. Well, in that case, we're gonna quit the game. <laughs> oh, this playthrough is already a disaster. No. Oh, is this gonna break the recording? Oh, it's breaking the recording. Yep. Yep. There goes the recording. All right. Well. Say memory card. Okay, hello. Here we go. Bad gone insanely insane. That is the name of this memory card. What do we have for this? Sheepdog and Wolf. Oh, that's that playthrough. I remember that. NASCAR the game. Test Drive 5. Ale Mao in Vigilante 8 Second Offense. Oh my goodness gracious. This is every single game that I've played for the channel except for Driver. I'm gonna, I was gonna delete that, but then I remembered I got past the tutorial, so I ain't gonna delete that. Spongebob, Vigilante 8, Ford Racing, Driver Replay Bad. Oh my god, all these games that I've played for the channel. Okay, we can delete Jeopardy. Deleting Jeopardy is fine. We can delete that by Jeopardy. And we can delete Tigger's Honey Hunt. That's, that's acceptable. Anything else in here that I can delete? Yeah, we can delete the NASCAR game. Okay, yeah, we can. This is, this is NASCAR Season 96. If I ever play that game again, I'm going to try harder next time. Okay, back to this. This video is a disaster. Important changes to your Mojang account. Over the course of 2021, millions of Java Edition players switched over to Microsoft accounts. No! I will not be migrating. Get this garbage out of here. Minecraft died like in like when it was released. <laughs> when it was when when the beta when the beta section ended. Okay. Not enough empty blocks still? Are you kidding me? How many empty blocks does this game need? I can actually look at the This is what the the box is for. Four to fifteen blocks. Are you shitting me? Alright, what else are we deleting? I could just make a new memory card, but that would be way too easy. Okay, what else? Oh, there's there's the NASCAR of the game setups. So there we go. We can get rid of that. That's completely worthless. Pooh's party game is also completely worthless. There we go. Um, all the rest of these are playthroughs on the channel, except for SpongeBob. We can delete SpongeBob. Okay, that better be enough. I have deleted some ancient his channel history today. And we haven't even started the playthrough yet. This is just like NASCAR 2005. Alright, so now the game capture is completely fucking broken. Now it won't even detect the stupid ass fucking thing. Oh my god, I hate you. Alright, are we ready? 
Can I start the game? Please. Thank you, God. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Gran Turismo 4, hey, or 2, hey! Oh my God, dude. Gran Turismo 2, hey! Okay. First things first, we gotta go get a license. Let's go and do license stuff. So, you may think that I would like to do all gold. Well, if you think that, then you are insane. I am going to just do the bare minimum for the licenses because I don't even know if you get prize cars for doing licenses in this game. Alright, so it's Start, Acceleration, and Braking 1. That's how this game always begins. We're gonna do the automatic transmission because I suck at video games. Oh, the load times. The load times are real. Up here we are. Okay, we're going for it. Alright, hey! Gran Turismo 2. So as you can tell, the game has gone through some significant graphics upgrades over the years. It is without a doubt... Um, am I supposed to stop here or at a thousand? It must be a thousand. Are we even going to get there in time? I don't think we're going to get there in time. Alright, so... We're just supposed to accelerate and then stop. That is the goal. And we're going to get on the brakes. And I got on the brakes too early. How unfortunate. Oh, I was going to do a replay every single time. And it's got to go through the loading transition every single time too. Oh dear. You've heard of 3 two, one bullshit. And like you need... The thing about it is that Gran Turismo is the real driving simulator. And if you are not firing off right, the game will let you know. Because if you start at, if you start a challenge at too low of a rev, you're going to uh, not win. Basically, it's going to be a bad time for everyone involved. So you saw the Ford Racing playthrough on this channel, right? Well, that game was desperately trying to be this game, but with Fords. Except the thing is, is that this game has Fords. So what's the point? Well, the point. That I'm trying to make right here is that Gran Turismo is a very realistic simulation of actual driving. If you've ever driven a car in your life, then you'll know what this is. Are you kidding me? That didn't count? You're telling me that didn't count? Uh, this is the first license challenge. The brakes on this Vitz is way too good. I have never seen a Vitz in my life. Never. Like the Toyota Vitz, I've never seen a Yaris either, so don't use that excuse. I've never seen one of these vehicles in my life. I know I've never been to Japan, but still. And we're going to get the license this time. Stop the car. Okay, we got a silver. Good enough for me. But without a doubt, good enough for me. I do not need gold. Because I am not going to be sitting here for the next, and I'm on PS, I'm on PS3 anyway. So like the inputs are delayed as it is. So what's my name for this series going to be? Did I what did I have a name in the other series? My name in this one is going to be Yam. Yams. Registered. Registered Yams. Okay. Very cool indeed. That is finally the first license challenge completed. And we have to, and there's no, like, go to the next challenge on this menu. So we have to wait for the game to load the, 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 the career menu and then reload the license challenge. Ugh, oh, the loading. This is like Skyrim, and I'm playing on PS3, so makes sense. Okay. Another start, acceleration, and braking. But this time, this time, we're in a different car! Yes. And it changes the camera angle every single time. Amazing. This is a Fiat. You may not be able to tell because of the lack of polygons, but yes. Yes, this is in fact a Fiat. These are very realistic representation of cars. 
You know what I've always wondered is, does Gran Turismo races actually exist in real life? Because if there's a way that I can, like, take my charger to, like, a racetrack one day and just... That's not even a silver. Amazing. If I could take my charger to a, um... Just a random racetrack, they'll let me, they'll let me race against other chargers. Okay, well, that was trash. Oh, no, we can do this. Okay, I, oh, okay, you have to go up here. Okay, 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 okay. Star acceleration and braking in the best car in the game. GTR R34. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So, this is the best car in, like, Gran Turismo 3, but is it the best car in Gran Turismo 2? Well, we're just gonna have to wait to find out. And I had terrible acceleration. Very cool. Yeah, it's even blue. Look at this. Paul Walker car, let's go. Yeah, so Gran Turismo took a bunch of real life cars and put them on fake racetracks, and yeah. It was very cool. Very cool for the time, and it is still very cool. I would even go as far as to say that it's actually pretty neat. It's really nice. And we are going to be. What was that? What happened? It like it was it was what what happened? What happened? Like, shut up! It it, 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 like, it like stopped slowing down! That was absolutely wild! I don't know what happened there, but like, I was on the brakes! And then, and then it stopped slowing down, like, when I was going, that, that was, that was wild. I don't even, I don't even, mmm. Mmm. This game is already testing my patience. See? It like, it just, it, 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 it hangs for like an additional, you, you saw that, it, it hangs for like the final two miles an hour. That was incredibly stupid, but we're, we're, it looks like we're just going for bronze. Oh, it's a Nissan March. Acceleration basics. Make two laps around this 30 meter radius circuit, okay. Okay, I thought we were actually doing like full lap challenges already. I was gonna have to be extremely mad. Okay. Why does it have to be starting on that camera every single time? And this thing turns on a dime. Look at this thing. Look at it go! It just turns! Stop messaging me on Discord. Look at this thing turn, dude. It is unparalleled. Look at the pace. Alright, well, that was good enough. See, like, I could easily get silvers on these, but, like, at this point, what, what, why even bother? All the other license challenges on this channel have been barons, like, I don't care. The entire point of the license challenge series in Gran Turismo 3 was to prove that I could do it in, like, one day. As opposed to, like, the two and a half years that it took me to do it the first time. Oh my god, these cars turn. I think it's because there's no pressure sensitivity, so, like... When you, when you press the, uh oh, I need to slow down. When you press the turn button, it like goes full turning. It goes full turning. 100% wheel input at all time. And I think that would make this game a bit more challenging than the other ones, just because you need, like, there's no such thing as precision anymore. Hey, I got a silver on my first try, even though that was terrible. <laughs> just dreadful. Dreadfully awful. Okay. Very cool indeed. I hate how I have to... Oh my god. And I hate how this controller disconnects all the time. I think I was... I think I mentioned that I'm playing this on PS3. So the inputs are delayed. So we're already having a bad time. We're already having a worse time than I could be having if I just looked for looked harder for my, um, um, input thing for the PS, PS2 so that I could play PS1 games on PS2 and have it be recorded on Elgato. Because, for whatever reason, if you just use the RCA on Elgato, it does not like PS1 games on PS2. But it's just fine with PS1 games on PS3. It's just like, I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. That's that's a that's a, that's a turn. Maybe I'll go back and try and do harder, try and do better on these in the future. And I know I did face cam for all of my um 
licensed challenges in Gran Turismo before, but like, that's just so much extra work. And I'd have to sit on my couch, and I mean, I could play on my, like, I'm sitting right next to the thing here, and we're already starting, so I wasn't ready for that. Wasn't expecting a rolling start. See, why can't we have more like this? There's no 3, 2, 1 bullshit on this, it just immediately starts. More of this, Gran Turismo. Less 3, 2, 1 bullshit. But this is an Acura Integra, so hot car. Hot car alert. It's got the informative best line, too. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Yay! I almost got gold first try. Woo! I think this is definitely easier than Gran Turismo 3's license challenges. I think I actually, if I was putting in effort right now, I would be able to get gold. But, like, at this point, I just want to start the game. That's the worst part about Gran Turismo games is that, you know, I would really like to just start the game. But, no, we have to do basic driving tests. Is this the exact same turn, but the other way around? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so that is unfair. I'm just taken aback by how sharply these cars turn. I'm so used to playing Gran Turismo and the cars not turning. I'm playing this right after playing Road Trip Adventure 2, so... <laughs> In that game, I am absolutely used to cars not turning. That's like basically the point of the series. It's like the point of the game. Alright, well that was terrible, but like, what are you gonna do? I am not doing these to do good, I am doing these so I can just play the game. Every single time you have to enter in a new- like, like what is the game thinking? Like my name is changing every single time that I do a different challenge? Like I go to the courthouse and I get my name legally changed every single time that I'm doing this here? Alright, so we're doing this turn again. Is this a Mercury Cougar? No, I think it's a Ford Contour. Hell yeah, dude. See, like I said, Ford Racing. Ford Racing. Oh no, it's not the exact same turn. Oh, it's not the exact same turn. It's two turns, in fact. Oh, they're sectors. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, that was interesting. At the line, I did not get a silver. Yeah, the leeway on bronze is very, very much. There is very leeway. I wish whoever made this game a very leeway. Alright, so I've got three three silvers, despite not even trying. And yes, it is a, it's a Ford Cougar. Wait a minute, I was wrong. I was wrong both times. It's a Ford Cougar, obviously. Obviously. The Ford Cougar, as everyone knows, exists. It is not Mercury, it is Ford. Ford Cougar. There is one of these for sale in a town a couple of hours over that I really like. It's like six, they're like selling it for like six grand. And it's so good. It's like a 2000 Mercury Cougar, right? It's so good. I love it. I want it. Anyway, that's a silver on the final test. See, it's easy, easy final test. Except I need to find a way to cut off a half second. With barely any additional input. Well, I got the B license, so that's good. I think I will save the game, yes. See, did, like, fucking force feedback wheels exist when this game came out? Because I feel like that's what we should be using right now. Alright, well, there's your B license is done. <laughs> Very cool. We're only, what, 23 minutes into the microphone recording, and we have finally completed the B license. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Are, are the licenses just, is this going to just be one episode, all the licenses? Well, we're on day three, so accidentally going out of the license challenges has made it advance an extra day, so we are not making good time as far as in-game days is concerned. <laughs> okay, well, time for some high-speed braking. Let's do it. Let go, girl. Let go. Alrighty then, so, no informative best line anymore. Um, where, where, when do we stop? Oh, we're, we're stopping pretty soon, okay. Um, probably want to start breaking here. Here, here, all right. And it was not there. Th it said fail before it even stopped. I feel like this is unfair. Can you shut up, please, so I can start over? Okay, well, I, I started breaking right at the sign last time, so I think we're gonna start breaking here. Hope for the best. And... 
Eight hundredths off the best possible time. Imagine the odds of that. Imagine the odds of that. Alright, well, nope, not that. Next one. Cornering and breaking. My goodness gracious. That's a lot of that's a lot to take in at once. You expect me to corner and break at the same time? Come on, dude. You're expecting way too much out of me. Yeah, I am I am I am a fan. I am a fan of the automatic starting. And not none of this 3 2 1 bullshit. Which direction do I turn? Okay, we're turning this direction. Wait. Oh! Oh, you're supposed to turn and stop. Okay, I thought we were like. I thought this was. I thought this was like deep forest or something, and we were gonna take the hairpin. No, as it turns out, we are turning and then stopping. I'm thinking the finish is coming pretty fast. I, like I'm gonna be shattering this record. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I thought I was about to shatter that record. Okay, well. Um. Gold! <laughs> My first gold, and it was awful. I still shattered the record. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my W on that one. I'm gonna take the fat W. Intermediate cornering one FF car. What does FF stand for? Fat fuck. So we got the FF fat fuck car. FR fat. I'm not allowed to say that word anymore. MR is. Um, married rigorously, and 4WD is 4 Waffle Dystopia. I don't know, dude. I don't fucking know. I got a silver. The only thing that I know is that I got a silver, and I like the Acura Integra. These are two facts about Kamikaze. Intermediate Coring 2 FR Car. Let's do this. It's a Toyota Alteza. I forgot about them. I forgot those existed. There's like a challenge specifically for Altezas in uh, Gran Turismo 3. I don't get the appeal. It's like a Lex. It's like a. It's like a more boring. A somehow more boring Lexus. All right. Well, I just slid through that corner. So that was a, that was a very good taking of the corner. This is definitely going to be a gold medal. Oh, would you look at that? It wasn't a good move. It wasn't a gold medal. <laughs> Yay! This is horrible. I'm starting to wonder if why anyone would watch my original license challenges series. If this is what it comprised of. Just doing the license challenges without actually reading what I'm supposed to do. I feel like that's a smart decision. I feel like that is intelligent, to say the least. Okay, well, the, I had to slow down more, as it turns out. It's an L-shaped turn smoothly follow a circular line practice accurately tracing a line through the apex okay sure or we could just like do that yeah that was that was that that's 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 what i call accurately tracing a line through the apex right there oh would you look at that it was only a bronze <laughs> hey, hey, hey i'm good at this game you can tell that I'm going to be very successful over the course of this playthrough, considering I cannot drive cars to save my life. Oh, it's the exact same corner again. Oh, I wonder how we're going to take it this time. Oh, we're going to take it the exact same way that I took it the previous time? Oh my goodness gracious, imagine the odds of that. At the line, that was not a gold. I'm extremely mad that that was not a gold. It was basically the perfect line, and of course it's going to screw me over like that. Unbelievable. Okay, next. Applied cornering, S-turn, oh my goodness, an S-turn, yowza, but what about T-turns? Anyway, I'm turning, I feel like I'm doing very good, and the next turn, hey, coming out of the corner, I love the Mitsubishi 3000 GT, this is one of my favorite cars. And at the line, I got a gold! Let's go! Let's go! Gold! That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, dude, let's do it. I thought that was really good. I'm like just flowing through these corners, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that entirely on the car. The 3000 GT is just such a good car that it just basically drove itself there. 
This is an FR car, so I'm assuming that I cannot, I'm not going to be able to say the same thing for the Supra. I'm going to guess that this is not going to go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. It doesn't like driving. Whose idea was real wheel drive cars? <laughs> like, seriously, this is horrible. All right, well, hey, it was a silver at least. Sick. I love how it wrecks after you finish. Like, the AI takes control and is like, well, I guess I'll just pile drive this guardrail for no reason. Oh, another 3000 um, GT. It said 3000 GT MR, but it's a four wheel drive. Which is it? Which is it, game? Is it a mid-engine vehicle or is it a four-wheel drive? Oh, no. Oh, this is like complex string, dude. Look at this. Well, that wasn't desperately great. Come on, go. Accelerate, please. Oh, that was horrible. Looks like South Dakota in the background, though. Very picturesque. I can, I can, I can, I can, um... I can testify that South Dakota looks like a like a vomit landscape of pixels. Is this the exact same challenge again except in a Supra? Why would you look at that? It's the exact same challenge but in a Supra. Alright, well, let's do better this time. Okay, that's not better. Oh, that's not better. I'm gonna say that wasn't better than last time. Yeah, I like this. This, like, like, there's a complete lack of loading screens here. Like, the rest of this game is just never-ending loading screens, but on these licensed challenges, no loading screens. This is great. Gran Turismo 3 could really learn from this. To not have 3-2-1 bullshit. Okay. Well, we're turning in. That was surprisingly not a fail immediately. That was also surprising not a fail immediately. Come on, get a silver! Okay, we got a silver. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the silver. For some reason, the silver on the side of the screen looks like yellow. <laughs> it, it, or not yellow, it looks like blue. Anyway, I got an A license, so that's good. I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> this playthrough has been an absolute disaster. From the very moment that it began to this exact moment right now, this has not been a good playthrough. Why people would want to watch this is beyond me. Anyway, that's uh, that's the A license done, so that's good. I did better in the A license than I did in the B license, so that should really tell you how this playthrough is going to go. I think it must get progressively easier as the game goes along, because I remember Gran Turismo 5's license challenges being incredibly easy. Like, especially in comparison to Gran Turismo 3. Gran Turismo 3, just, I cannot, I cannot emphasize enough just how impossible some of the Gran Turismo 3 license challenges are. Like, to this day, I still cannot do the final challenge in Gran Turismo 3 licenses. I guess I haven't tried it for a few years, so maybe I can give it another shot, but... All I, do, all I know is that when I tried it the first time, I talk about this in the 500 subscriber special that no one watched. Oh, look, there's a graphic on the side of this car. Oh my goodness gracious. But yeah, like, it's literally... Like, like, I got within seven one-thousandths of a second of getting it. And, like, as we all know, the, 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 the PS2 does not accurately calculate time. So, it was just basically a random a ra RNG generator string. Like, you see how fast those numbers are moving on the timer there? That's basically just pure RNG. Oh my god, go car! Go! I'm not even gonna get this. I'm not even gonna get this. Okay, I got it. But this this challenge is garbage and the Miata is garbage. Everything about this is garbage. Okay, that license challenge sucked. Let's do something better. Hell yeah, it's a Sylvia. Now we're talking. See, now we've got a car worth a shit. See, like this 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 corner progressively gets tighter and tighter as it goes on. And, like, this would be an easy challenge to complete if I had, like, a, a steering wheel and a set of pedals. But I don't. I don't. I don't. Because you're supposed to, like, trail brake into the corner and let the braking do the turning for the for you. But you can't. You can't when this is the car that... when, when you're playing with a controller that has no pressure sensitivity. 
You can't trail break with that. You're either 100% break or 0% break. There is no in between when you're on controller. This game was designed, this game was way ahead of its time is what I'm trying to say. Come on, get silver. Yeah, I got silver. Yay, got silver. Woo! At least we're making good progress. We are, in fact, making good progress. Multiple corners to blind. I can see, I can see, I'm going blind. I can see, I can see, I'm going blind. All right, we're turning to the left. And too much to the left, in fact. We are, in fact, turning to the left again. Yay, that was a very good, very good challenge. We did good. We did the thing. Silver? No, we did not get silver. <laughs> not even close, in fact. Okay, well, that was fun. Next challenge. Do we get access to this track like we get access to Complex String? I hope so. This track is not nearly as good as Complex String, but at the same time, it would be, in fact, a cool race to have a track to have a race at. Oh, it's sunset. Oh, look at this dynamic time of day. Oh my, I cannot tell where the road ends and the dirt begins. Okay, well, that's not what they intended for me to do. Bronze. Okay, well... Cool. That was weird. Did I even need to slow down for that? I feel like I didn't even need to slow down for that. Do that one again. Like, I did... I could, I can't, you like, it, like the, like the pixels just bleed into each other. It's, it's very odd to say the least. Oh my. Okay, that was not a gold. I don't know how I could have done better than that, honestly. All right, well I got a silver, so that's good. At least I got a silver. Next, Red Rock Valley again. At least now I know that we're gonna be uh, in the sunset, so that all the colors blend together. The color palette is not happy. All right, next corner. Um, is this the exact same corner again? I think it's the exact same corner again. Except this time there's like... No, oh, it's, oh, it's just slightly longer this time. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Oh, it just... Uh, I mean, that was maybe good. Maybe that was good. Maybe. Silver. All right, cool. I was thinking maybe like turn off driving assist or something, but I don't even know if there's driving assist in this game. Midfield Raceway. Ooh, I like Midfield Raceway. Okay, we're finally at a track that I recognize. Okay, it's this corner. Sick. Hell yeah. We're driving a Celica. Look at this. It's like the new Celica too. And by new Celica, I mean like from 2002. This game was released in 1999, I believe. Alright, well that was terrible. Yay! All right, next. Yeah, this is a this is way more lenient than like any other Gran Turismo game. I mean, like I said, Gran Turismo 5's license challenges were very easy. Like I got gold in almost all of them. I've only got not got gold in like some of the. Uh, oh, the Honda S2000 is way too strong. I think this is a Honda S2000. Yeah, it's a Honda S2000. It's way too strong, though. Way too much power. Way too much power! Way too much power. But yeah. Um. I got almost every, almost gold in every single license challenge in that game. And it's like, compared to fucking Gran Turismo 3, I mean, it's night and day. Night and day. It's like a completely different game. Oh, we're driving an Alpha. Oh, I hope it's not a hatchback Alpha. Is it a hatchback? No, it's not a hatchback. Nice. Oh, God, it's Rome Circuit. Hello, Coliseum. Oh. Body slamming the wall didn't cause me to fail the challenge. Interesting. Can you just wall ride? Can we NASCAR heat this? Okay, so I did not get the thing. <laughs> Alright, so body slamming the wall maybe adds time. I don't know. Why am I saving the record if I don't even get it? What's the point? Is there even... Um... What's it called? Ghost laps in this? Probably not. I, I, I There are PS1 games that have ghost technology. I know that. 
That much is true. But, like... Is there already too much going on in this game for there to be ghosts? Ghosts to give? Yeah, because I think, like, Toka Racer 3 or something has, um, ghost cars in it. Pretty sure it does. There's, there's some game that I used to rent all the time on PS1 that had that. Anyway, that's not a silver. I'm sick of doing this challenge, so we're just gonna stop. We're just gonna go and do the next one. Alright, time to get my International Sea License. Seattle Circuit, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Seattle Circuit. Action. We're gonna need some action. Corvette Grand Sport. Nice. That was new when this game came out. Oh my god. Oh my god, speaking of. It turns. Too much, in fact. It simply turns too much. Oh my god, I've never seen Seattle Circuit this bright! I don't think we're gonna get it. You know what, I think we're not going to get this challenge. Come to think of it. Yeah, this is what I mean when I say we need better controller inputs, because for God's sake, it just it just turns at 100% capacity so that I'm counter-steering as I'm going down the straightaway because it's like... I don't know, dude. License test finish. Alright, well, that's good enough to advance. Cool. Whatever. Good enough for me. Hey, we got the International Sea License. Woo! I think there's still a, there's a super license and then a um and then the rally license. But like I mean I hate the fact that there's an international sea license in this game. They got rid of that in every future Gran Turismo game. It's just like, okay. So that doesn't this section doesn't even exist in the future. Okay, um Yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be a, like, a next button at some point. Okay, rally techniques. Oh, I guess there's no, no, uh, rally license. It's just rally in this. Sure, why not? Works for me. Look, I love it when I'm disproven immediately as I say something. That's my favorite thing. Is when the game disproves my point. The instantaneous second that I make it. Now, rally stuff... I remember being very easy in Gran Turismo 3, like that was the easiest licenses to get. And I can, I think I actually got like some silvers in that when I was playing through it the first time. Oh, but we're flying. Oh, but we're flying. Oh, and now we're turning. Turn! Turn! Okay. We made it. Finish! Hey! Hey, it's a goal! Woo! Let's go, dude. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, look at these cameras! Look at this 1999 technology. It looks so good. Next, more rally techniques. <laughs> good. I like the rally challenges. They're easy. <laughs> this makes me happy. Make me happy! Make me happy! Anyone get that reference? It's a good reference. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, now we're turning right. Oh, we need to turn more than that. Okay, well, okay. Oh, 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 That was a goal. Um, sure. Yeah, that was the best I could have possibly done that, guys. That was pure talent. Pure talent. Oversteer. Four-wheel drive. Oh, I, I, believe me, I already have experienced oversteer in this game. We do not need an entire challenge for it. Okay, hello. Where are we at? Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're turning to the right. Turning to the right. Exxon. Were they a uh, terrifying global conglomerate back when this game came out? Probably. They probably were. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. When was Exxon not a terrifying global conglomerate? Let's be honest. Well, we're not going to get perfect golds in this one, unfortunately. But you can't say I didn't try. I was going very strong at the beginning. Alright, next challenge. Oversteer. Real wheel drive. Oh. Uh, yes, that's what I want to deal with. Garbage real wheel drive cars I can barely drive to begin with. Oh, it's an, oh, it's an NSX! 
Oh my goodness gracious. This isn't a rear wheel drive car though, this is an MR car. Completely different. Mid-engine cars are completely different from FR cars. We know this. This is a fact of life. This is the kind of things that you learn in Gran Turismo games. And yet the game is trying to lie to me and establish that this is a FR car when it is in fact a MR car. We are. Silver prize. Very good indeed. Very, very cool. I like when I get silver. It's not as good as gold, but it's better than bronze. Multiple corners three in the Mustang. Oh, hell yeah, a 98 Mustang. My favorite Mustang. And... Okay, oh, it's white. Oh my God, this looks identical to my dad's Mustang. Oh my God, dude, this is so hype. It's identical. It wasn't, my dad's Mustang was not an SVT Cobra, obviously, but like this, this is exactly how it looked. This is my dad's Mustang. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I'm four years old again. Turn! Alright, so Mustangs don't turn. Good to know. That's a good mental note to take. Mustangs were invented to go in a straight line and a straight line only. They, most of them didn't even come stock with steering wheels, like just public outcry made them install them in future, um, releases. Anyway, I got a silver somehow. That was awful, but I still got a silver. Let's go. Low speed slalom. This is the only part of the license challenges that I remember. I did these license challenges, when did I get this game? It would have been like, 2008? I think... Yeah, this is the only challenge that I remember because it was like hard and stuff. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I would like to get all silvers in this section, but like, if we're gonna have to do this multiple times, ah uh, yeah, maybe we'll just take the L. Oh no, okay, sure. That's the first crash that I've had thus far. Definitely. Definitely. The only crash that has happened in this at all. Never has there been a single crash beyond that one. Oh my god, the input delay. I mean, I don't even think it's the input delay, it's just the 100% on everything. There's no pressure sensitivity. Okay, so now I remember why I hated this so much. Because it is horrendous. I don't know if there's a way that I can plug in my fucking G920 into this, so I don't have to play on controller. Oh my god, dude! Okay. So this is why this is the only thing that I remember from the license challenges in Gran Turismo 2. This is the reason. Here it is, we found it. We found the reason. Wow, this entire license has been piss easy up until this exact moment. Oh boy! This is painful. Maybe I should actually do it from this camera. Yes, here we go. Alright, now, now we're thinking with portals. Okay, that didn't help at all, actually. I am so glad there's no 3-2-1 bullshit, though. I think, I mean, I think the difference in time is made up in the fact that you have to quit, and then quit the replay, and then restart the challenge. That completely negates any time, you know, gained by not having to do 3-2-1 bullshit. But still, it's just the, it's just the principle of the thing, okay? Oh, this is dreadful. This is not fun. This is what I would call a bad time. Uh, uh, I'm getting motion sickness due to the lack of pixels. Okay. Get to the line. Go, go, go. I don't want to do this again. Okay. Yeah, see, you're supposed to do that in three seconds faster. Three seconds you're supposed to pick up from that. No, actually. This is a terrible challenge. Multiple corners, four. Let's do multiple corners instead of that Salem garbage. Okay. Hey, we're in a Nissan Skyline. My favorite car. Not really. Oh, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Oh, it drives. Not very well, but it drives. Yeah, look at this background, dude. It looks like South Dakota. 
It looks like I could have been at college and looked down my window and saw these picturesque hills. Like the sandy... The sandy grass, and then fade into the green, and then like there's some darker parts. Like, I mean, I'm sure it looks like this in so many different places. Oh! No Salem's! You fat cunt! Great. Just great. I hate this game. Oh, I've decided that I hate this game. Okay. Well, these ones appear to be separated better than the last ones. Okay. There we go. Nice. I'm not gonna get this. I got this by four one thousandths of a second. They expect me to pick up three seconds again. More than three seconds. They expect me to do that three seconds faster than I did. Is there like a secret shortcut where I can avoid the Salem's and just go in a straight line? I don't even think I can get to the finish line in 18 seconds without the Salem's. If you expect me to just drive in a straight line to get to the finish line in 18 seconds, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It is not possible. Where are we? What track is this? We were in a tunnel, so I thought it was Trial Mountain, but now we're turning to the left? To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left. Alright, well that was terrible. At the line! Wow. Just wow. Okay, you can eat my entire ass. No! Just go! Oh, it's an RX-7. I didn't even realize we were an RX-7. We're at this track that's in a sunset, but the lights aren't even on. Okay, you know what? This game needs to stop. It needs to stop A, existing, B, being stupid, and C, having license challenges. You are trash, and I hate you. I actually am genuinely pissed. Okay, could you just fucking drive into the corner without doing something stupid? How did I get through this the first time without any issue, but now suddenly I need to... Oh, that's because I thought we were at Trial Mountain, so I thought I needed to slow down here, so I preemptively got on the brakes. That's what happened. That's what happened. And we did worse than the first time. Okay, well... So you remember how this this license was piss easy all the way until the high speed of Salem? Well, guess what? We're doing the bullshit. It just pulls to the fucking right. Garbage. God, this sucks. Man, it sure would be nice if it didn't have 100% controller input at all times. The stick doesn't even work. I don't even think the analog stick would work if I was playing this on PS2 and it had the analog stick lighting up button. I think it would still suck just as much, actually. That is my prediction. Like, it's too late to change to um, that, and I still don't know where my fucking cord is anyway, so it's not like I could. Yeah, they expect you to do that two, two seconds faster. A second and a half faster than that, with no with no pressure sensitivity. Alright, well, that start- this- th this license started off very well, and it completely devolved. Let's see how this final challenge stacks up with the rest of them. Oh, not this. This- oh, this Mazda Laguna Seca with the fucking Dodge Viper. This brings back flashbacks. More flashbacks to Gran Turismo 3 that I did not want. Oh. Yeah, this is the exact same challenge. This is the exact same challenge as the one in Gran Turismo 3. It took me months to complete this my first time in Gran Turismo 3. Anyway, we're gonna get silver first try on this one. Oh my god, dude. After all the stupid challenges that this license had, it ends on that. Anyway, that's an International B license. I don't even think there's any race in this game where you need the super license. Except they still have the super license. Hidden away. We are one hour into this playthrough, and we are on to the final license that matters. Not the final license, the final license that matters. Unless there's some super secret endgame thing that I never found when I was playing through this back in 2016. No Slalom's. Thank fucking God. No fucking Salem's in this one. Praise up. My homie JC up in the stars is watching out for me on this license, that's for sure. 
Okay, circle track three, oversteer. Is this literally the one where we go around and around and around like love, like the Cheerios commercials? When I went to Phoenix, they had like Honey Nut Cheerios signs, billboards all over the place. They had like these like giant screens that would play commercials at all times. And they did that fucking love goes around and around and around and around commercial all the fucking time. It was miserable. Speaking of miserable, this car sucks to drive. This is like the Dodge Viper in juice. Sucks to drive. Get to the bottom! We're scrubbing off so much time! That was terrible. We're just riding the center of the track. If the challenge was to ride the center of the track all the way around, that would have been a gold medal. But in fact, it was not. We were supposed to ride the inside of the track, round and around. So this is a TVR Griffin. Oh! And it sucks. So as it turns out, the TVR Griffith is garbage. Did anyone ever buy a TV? I remember the uh, Top Gear episode about like TVRs. It's like the TVR Speed 12 was like my dream car for my entire childhood. Did I just say that? My entire childhood. Oh, there's another turn. I did a really good job on that first set of turns, but that turn that I didn't even know existed that we came up on there, yeah, that probably would have been a good one to slow down for. Is this Grand Valley Raceway? This might be Grand Valley Raceway, but like, I don't remember this section. There's like a weird version of Grand Valley Speedway in this game, I think. That doesn't exist in Gran Turismo 3, nor Gran Turismo 4. Okay, can we do this challenge? Please and thank you. Okay, so here's the blind corner that I completely for didn't even know existed. And we're going to overdrive it, so we have to start over. This isn't as bad as the other challenge that I was getting mad at earlier. Mostly because, you know, I'm not even knowing what I'm supposed to do for the majority of this. Okay, let's get on the brakes and slow down for this corner that is apparently very tight. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Let's go to the line. It's way over there for some reason. Just so that I can think that I'm going to get a gold before I don't get a gold. Silver prize! Very cool indeed. Yay, I got the silver prize. I'm okay with that. Practical corner. Impr as opposed to impractical corners. Okay. What would constitute as an impractical corner? Like, this is just a slight left turn, and then a bigger left, 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 left turn. And then... We go into a slight right turn, and then, like, these are S's. Is that a practical corner? S's, according to this game, S's are practical corners. I don't know, dude. You think I know about racing? How can anyone watch this video and, like, believe that I know anything about racing? That's my question. Anyway, next challenge. We're back in the Oh, Ford Escort Rally Car! Yes! Yes, the late 90s boxy Ford Escort! Oh, yes! I love late 80s, early 90s commuter cars. Like, they are my favorite thing in the world. And the boxy late 80s, early 90s Ford Escort is, like, at the top of the list. Anyway, I definitely should not have passed this challenge. But I did pass this challenge. With a gold medal, for that matter. Thank you. Can we just do... Can we just have a, an entire challenge of just rally stuff? Oh, hill climbing techniques. Oh my god, it's the Pikes Peak! I was literally gonna say hill climbing. What is this? Pikes Peak? Yes. Yes, actually, it is Pikes Peak. We are in the Pikes Peak fuck you car. The car that makes absolutely no practical sense. No real world... Vehicle with okay, I actually crashed there. <laughs> nice. I didn't think it was possible to crash in the rally challenges, but here we are. Yeah, this fucking monstrosity. I love this car. Not as much as a Ford Escort, but I do love this car. Okay, so I did the exact same thing twice. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I just suck at driving. Okay. 
Attempt number three at getting through the first corner. There we go. See? See? Was it really that hard? Was it really that hard to do this? Look at the car just drive, dude. It just doesn't care. It goes into the corner, it accelerates, and then it doesn't go on the brakes. Okay, so, I have learned today that the brakes on the Pikes Peak suck. Every Suzuki in these games, like, suck. Except for this absolute cartoon of a vehicle. Oh my god. Oh my god, I suck at driving this. Suzuki only has, like, those little mini truck things that you use for the K-Car Cup. And then it throws this fucking beast in your face. It's like, what? And the brakes on it are non-existent. I don't know if it's just because we're racing on dirt or what, but like, this thing just cannot stop. It's addicted to the shin game. And it also doesn't turn. Where's the finish line? There's the finish line. Okay, so there's the first uh, rally challenge that I have not gotten a gold on the first try on. I'm not gonna try again, because I am sucking way too much. Downhill technique, sit. Let's do downhill techniques. Oh, we're still on dirt, let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude, uh-oh. Okay, so it doesn't turn. This one doesn't turn either. But at least the, the, uh, the Pikes Peak car is fast. Like, you know, the, 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 the drawback to the fact that it is cartoonishly fast is that it doesn't turn. What's the, ri what's the pros and cons of this? Well, the con is that it doesn't turn. But it's also not fast. A pro of the Pikes Peak car is that it's fast. There is literally no benefit to driving this pile of garbage car. It doesn't do anything. Look at this. It's a front-wheel drive rally car. Whose idea was this? Some moron thought it would be a good idea to make a front-wheel drive car a rally car. Some dumbass. Some actual idiot moron. Anyway, next challenge. More practical turns. I, I mean, once... I mean... We've done a lot of practical turns tests, but like, once once they start throwing the impractical turns at us, then we're gonna have a problem. Oh, it's this again. Okay, sure. Sure, why not? We'll do this exact same challenge a second time. And suck at it. I think this is also a front-wheel drive rally car. No, it's a four-wheel drive. It doesn't feel like it. Sure as hell didn't feel like it in that corner, but hey, whatever you say, game. If you say it's a four-wheel drive car, then who am I to disagree? Except for when you called the NSX a FR car. I mean, I could definitely disagree on that. Using the game's own logic, it's not. It is in fact an MR. Anyway, that's a silver. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. <laughs> I mean, that's what it sounds like. I got this zit on my eyebrow, and it's like... Brutal. Oh, we're playing the game. What on earth? Oh my god, it's the, uh... It's the whatchamacallit. The XJ something or other. It's, it's the street version, though. Which definitely exists. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like I'm driving a UFO with wheels. This car drives exactly like how you think a UFO on wheels would drive. Alright, well, that was fun. Next challenge. Two more challenges, let's go. Yeah, it only took an hour and ten minutes to get through this. And I even got some silvers. And a few golds. Oh my lord, it's a Lamar car. Okay, sure. Why not? That works. This will have good brakes, right? Oh no! No, it does not. It does not have good brakes, as it turns out. I have been lied to on this day. You'd think that a Lamar car would have good brakes. But in fact, you would be wrong as it turns out. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think this car was designed to take the corkscrew at Laguna Seca. 
Something just in the back of my mind is telling me that this car should not be at this track. Alright, last challenge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Because there definitely is a super license. Super fast corners, too. Here, you're driving a pure race car, like cows. Full of downforce as you maneuver a fast switchback. Okay, I'll take your word for that. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this. Oh, it's the Toyota thingamajig, right? This is a Toyota, I'm pretty sure. The Toyota 1, I think. Anyway, you drive this in the last challenge of... Yeah, Toyota GT1. You, 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 you drive this in the last licensed challenge, Gran Turismo 3, as well. I think the game designers were fans of Toyota. Just a sneaking suspicion, especially considering they have the Toyota track. Tokyo Route thingamajig. They also have Mazda Laguna Seca, so I mean... But I think they like Toyota more. How come it turns so well in those corners back there, but it's just god awful here? In that in this other in this other corner. Alright, well, I barely got that. That's a very pathetic way to end off the license challenges, but it's the way that I'm going to be ending off these license challenges. Oh well, I still get the license in in, in any case. <laughs> oh no. Well, that was pathetic. Hey! So, that's the Gran Turismo 2 license challenges. There is still the S challenge license thing. But we don't actually have to do that because there is no race in this game that requires the super license. Don't know why. Don't know why it exists when you don't need it, but now what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Anyway, back to the main menu. So now, an hour and a half after I've started recording, we can finally get to the actual game. Let's go. Yeah, like I said, there's another, there's another license. That's the super license. That's the super license. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's, the, it's the full time trial thing here, but we will not be doing that. Well, actually, yeah, no, we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> well, actually, no. We don't need it. We don't need it for the sake of the game. If, if like, the f super ultra mega final challenge of this game is, like, the F1 challenge and we need that, then we'll do that. And I overdrove the corner. Well, going 40 miles an hour into this corner and I'm still overdriving the track. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's spinning! What a fucking chad! What a fucking Chad! Did you see that? This absolute fucking beast! Oh my god, I can't even be mad! That was such a good save! Holy shit! That was so good! And I can't fucking drive forward because this car sucks and this track sucks and this game sucks. <laughs>